Hello, my correct and amazing people. I greet everybody in the house. If you're the first time when they come across my video, be this or you they watch my video before you never subscribe. I beg, what do they wait for? Follow me, hit that button when you say subscribe. And if you don't subscribe already, I say thank you. God, God bless you now. Well, well, for me today and this platform now, here will they talk and the way it be now. Here will they break the news now. Here will they bring letters. Any news will they fly around for anywhere for the world with the carry and come here. Any letters immediately we will put them. Now, I'm going to tell you, say, if you know, so you never subscribe, hit that button when it says subscribe. Make sure not forget to press the like button and the notification button. Anytime when I put any program, you'll die among the first people when you come see them. My correct and amazing people, I want to present to now my sister, my lovely, precious sister, sister Esther, Mrs. No Sam. She go teach us one or two things about Bible today. Today on Sunday. Some people say all sins are equal. All sins actually not be equal. But she go teach us more about that. But before you go, this one day among the topic we want to talk today about adultery. If you know say you did for husband house and you commit adultery, you go to meet different men. For your husband house, some men, some women, even they carry men, they come their home. For your mind, personally, I know some people not go like this topic, but now the truth be that we still need to talk them. So people not go like them, and some people go say, "Okay, what did this woman they talk?" Not true. If you know, so you die among of those women with their husband house, you they carry men, they call your husband house, or you they go outside, they sleep with men, not pardon. down. You not good. You they lay cause come for your family. You they lay cause for your children. You they carry calls the people for your husband. See, you see some people now, their husband go to do business and they go away because of the things with their wife they do. And are you the fear as a woman with their husband has you they meet other men? You give your husband any respect, you give yourself personally respect. Are you the fear? Are you don't you feel dirty for your own self to start with? For your own self, for your own life, you feel dirty. Self to do the record of a thing. Husband has not be by force. For you to do for husband house. To the carry men around, they sleep around. Better leave the husband. Stay on your own. Everybody gonna say yes. She not married. She there on her own. She not deal with any man. You they mess around. Nobody go talk. People go talk, but they not go talk rich like. When you did for your husband house, you they mess around. If you know, see, so be one of those women. When you marry, you did husband house. You they live with man for house. If you like the man, never pay your bread price. But you want the man to live for us as husband and wife. And everybody knows that this person and your husband, this person and your fiance, you deal with them. The same roof. Please. And you they mess around. Stop. It's not good for your family. It's not good for your children. It's not good for your husband. And it's not good for yourself. First of all, you, your personal self, you look dirty as a woman doing that. No respect for your husband because the, if, if, if it is a people not they see people they see. You tell people not they see they see. First of all, respect for your husband is gone. Everybody for your street, everybody for your area is here. These are never know what wife they do. So your your husband respect. I respect you they give your husband, not that they again. They don't bring you don't bring your husband down already. And you don't lay cause for your husband. He gets some that time for Nigeria that time. They'll say that this person turn around IP. Because a wife they sleep around and the man refuse to talk, and the wife they cook, they give you husband they eat, and the man no say a wife they mess around, they sleep with men, he not talk, now make the man turn around happy. Some cases they like that. I don't know why not true. If not the thing with their wife they do, make the man turn around happy. But it did a lot of cases they like that. So today, before I go live in America, watch sister Esther. I also make I throw this matter put. If you know so you be woman. And you did for husband house, you did on that man roof, you did live with the man for house. Or that marry or no marry, but you are the mother you live together, you don't both cheat for the man. And you did cheat on your husband, you did do that kind of thing, no good. Because the kind of generation cause with the lay for that lineage, for that your line, where you not even know it too much. Now you go make your children, they go know they don't go to progress, most more thing, they go say pray for your father's sin, pray for your mother's sin, all the sin will not come in and they put that for now. On a children head, so it's better you leave the husband as you do yourself than contributing costs, the lay costs, the lay costs for your family, your lineage, everything just they go cost, 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 cost. That one, my own little contribution. As I said before, I said, I know some women don't go like this topic. The truth is better, the truth needs to be told. Somebody must talk them the way it be. 
And at this platform, now they talk and the way it be. So if you know sit down, go to those women where they do that kind of thing, stop doing it. Instead of you go do for your husband's house, they cheat, they sleep with men, they do that kind of thing. Tell the man so you don't want it again. The man go do your own, you go do your own. If not support money, the man will tell you support you. Or anything when you get to the support you and your children, you go to support them. But make sure so you're not there for the man house. They do all those kind of things. So I go live now for my beautiful and amazing sister, Sister Esther. Make could watch one of I beg, make could watch until the end. And also, I go put a link where she did teach Bible for people to understand. So I don't want to go further. I cannot go waste on her time too much because she still gets a lot of things to talk. Like she gets 10 minutes to like explain very well. So I go see you now for my next video. I present Sister Hester and Mrs. Nosa to you guys. See you again, guys. Bye and thank you. God bless. Make one let me share my video. Thank you, guys. Bye. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You are all welcome. This is Mrs. Hester Nosa teaching class. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity that you have given to us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for all that you have done. Father, we are about to study your word. Come and speak through me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today, I want to take things that is common in our mouths. Say, all things are the same. Are all things really the same? Those that commit adultery. Those that commit murder, those that steal, those that do different things, different wrongdoings. Is God really going to judge us the same? What does the Bible say about this thing? Let's let us just take one point today. First John. First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5 verse 17. I read from good news. Praise the Lord. First John chapter 5 verse 17 said, All wrongdoing is sin. First John chapter 17. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is a sin that does not lead to death. Meaning all sins are sin. All wrongdoing is a sin. That is what we just read now. First John chapter 5 verse 17. All wrongdoing, they are sins. All sins are sin. We are all correct. All sins are sin. But... Finish the sentence. All wrongdoings are sin, but there is sins we do, that does not lead to death. That is the major point. We pick the first sentence. All sins are sin. Yes. But there are sins that does not lead to death. People might want to know what are the sins that does not lead to death. Praise the Lord. For example, now our in this world that we are depend on the country that you find yourself. A murderer, when you kill somebody purposely in some country, they will kill you also. That is our physical judge. And that same country, when you see. They will still sentence you to the law of what you saw. They will still sentence you like that. In different countries, they have different ways. In heavenly realm, in with God, because it is God that gives us this. We are when we are reading the, the Bible, we are reading the heart of God. God is telling us here, says John chapter 5, verse 17, that all wrongdoing, all sins are sin. But there are some sins that lead to death. Meaning, God differentiates them. 
this sin now that you committed, it does not lead to death. This other sin, it leads to death. Meaning all sins, all wrongdoings are sins. All sins are sins, but there are some sins that God consider that this one, and you have committed it, you must die. Let us read verse 16 of that same First John chapter 5. Verse 16, I read for good news. If you see your brother commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray to God who will give him life. This applies to those sins that do not lead to death. But there is a sin which leads to death. Praise Master Jesus. So God is telling us that all wrongdoings, all sins are sins. But there are some sins that some people will just commit. He said, pray for that person so that that person will have a change of mind. Pray for that person so that that person will not do it again. Draw that person closer to you. Talk to that person. What does that person need? If you have it, give it to that person. Use love to cover. Maybe that person is in need. There are some of some people now, they don't have food to eat. When they see another person's bread, food aside there, they will take it and eat it. Yes, he thief. Okay, you will still see some thieves. They have their own houses, not hassle, houses. They have what they need. But they will see carry gun, carry ammunitions to go and collect a little something that other people have to their own. So when you don't give them, they will kill you. Are we going to draw those two teeth together? Yes, they are thieves. The one that thief food that he eats. And the one that carry gun, ammunitions. So collect your money whatever you have by force if you don't even give him or you see give him some they will see shoot they will see kill that person are they are we going to judge them the same no but there are two of them they are thieves so the word of god is making us to understand here all wrongdoings all sins are sins but there are some sins that when you commit even we, human beings that hear it, we ah, this person. No. What about our Heavenly Father? He's a merciful God. He's a lovely God. But He's telling us that there are some things that you pet that person, pray for that person. Whatsoever you pray for, you give, give something to that person. Give. Maybe he is in need. Give him what he needs if you have. The one that you have. You see, maybe because of his what he lacks make him force him in that road that he or she is to be sailing or oh, it can be any other thing so this very verse now let us still take it to marriage matrimonial there are some women because they feel all sins are sin all wrongdoings are sins. They will go and and defy their bed. They will go and defy their bed. They will go and carry another man or another woman to their bed. According to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, verse 4 and 5. At 13 verse 4, it said, Marriage is honorable by God. Bed on defy. Marriage Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable by God. Bed on the fire. Some people, some women today, they think that because all sins are sin, their husband commits one sin. They want to go and commit another one. Some people, their husband did not even do anything. Because they feel all sins are sin, the other one, the other, they are catching him, telling lies. She will say it is ordinary adultery that she committed. Ordinary, just one man. She just sleep with her, just one man. After all, all sins are seen now. Huh? Is it not you that that tell lies the other day? Is it not you that do this the other day? Is it not you that do the other one the other day? So today it is just just one man that she slept with. 
so we are the same it is the same sin you commit your own sin in a different way i commit my own in a different way what does that mean yes he met a lot hebrew chapter 13 verse 4 said god honor our marriage our bed he don't want it to be defied when you when you dishonor your marriage you are putting judgment upon yourself. Read that Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. You are putting judgment, God's judgment upon your marriage. Praise Master Jesus. I pray that we should not use our hands to cause what will lead us to everlasting doom. In Jesus' name. Amen. So please. Don't say because of one thing or another, all things are equal. You go and defy your bed. You go and bring condemnation to yourself. You let that thing that you do make your husband to divorce you, to send you out. It's a very shameful something to your parents as well. To yourself, to your parents, to your children. If there is as we we ourselves judge i use judge as an example as we ourselves judge you judge the one that see you judge the one that see food that he ate immediately because he was hungry and you still use the one that carry gun ammunition to kill to to collect money from others if they are caught, they are not going to sentence them the same. That is the same thing that we have read. First John chapter 5, verse 17. It's very clear. Praise Master Jesus. I pray may God distribute his word to us. In Jesus' name, amen.